is about to anoint you like you've never been anointed. God said, it's time that you begin to speak what I've told you this
But he always sung a song before he left every Bible revival that said, I want you to pray for me. And he said, I'm not asking for promises that you can't keep, just pray. Because my wife has been really, really sick for a little over two, about two and a half years. And I've been traveling, preaching by myself, leaving her at home. And we begin to pray. And God has moved on her to where she can go with me. So when I get home, we're going to start praying. See, it's not about me, it's not about her, but it's about him. And I want to do his will above everything else. If I can please him, then I feel like I'm going to accomplish something to reach a soul. And while you're praying, I have two sons. One's an alcoholic. And the other was a crackhead for 14 years. And I'm going to ask you, because I believe in your prayers, to begin to lift up those two boys. The one that's a crackhead. I'm not saying this just because he's my son. But God called him when he was about seven years old. He preached his first message at about 11 years old. And at the age of 22, he preached one of the best messages I have ever heard anybody preach. And he's dyslexic. And he has somebody else to read for him. But the enemy hit him that night. And he's been crack at it for 14 years. But I'm expecting God to bring him out of the backside of the desert. I'm expecting God. If you pray and believe God with me, I believe in God that when I come back out next year for camp meeting, that I get to bring him with me. God bless you.